Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. An Eyewitness News exclusive. Shocking allegations of sexual activity involving four and five-year-olds at a Carson preschool. And now that school is shutting down. Welcome back. I'm John Hartung. I'm Giovanna Lotta. Here's the latest at 430. Today, the L.A. County Sheriff's Department says it will look into these startling allegations from our exclusive report. A preschool at First Lutheran Church in Carson will close following claims that two four-year-old boys received oral sex from a five-year-old girl. Eyewitness News reporter Alex Michelson has emotional reaction from the father of one of the boys. And told me about all the bad things that this girl had been doing to him. Richard McCarthy wants to speak out publicly about a traumatizing series of incidents. He says his four-year-old son often received oral sex at school from a five-year-old girl. It went down in the classroom, it went down in the bathroom, and it went down out on the playground. At least one other boy at the First Lutheran Church of Carson School says he also received oral sex from the same girl. The two boys that have been introduced this feeling that they don't know how to process are still looking for it and trying to make it happen. The California Department of Social Services cited the school for at least one sexual incident between the kids. Overall lack of supervision and an improper teacher-child ratio. Richard and other parents are now joining attorney Greg Owens lawsuit against the school and the church. If you boil it all down, it comes to supervision. Parents were given just two weeks notice that the school is shutting down for now. Church leaders wouldn't go on camera, but told me off camera they believe there were only two incidents involving inappropriate touching among the kids, and those cases are now closed. They say the school is closing because the director is leaving for personal reasons and no teacher wants the job. They insist student sex has nothing to do with the closure. To lie. And their argument that the director is leaving for personal reasons, you say, is... That's a lie. Richard says after the school told him his son was acting up again, he rushed to campus. And I just had to keep yelling in his ear, you're not in trouble. You're not in trouble. <laughs> and I just told him, I said, you're never coming back here again for these people to do this to you. But now he doesn't know where to send him. There's no way I could just take him to another school and be that parent that just let a predator loose. <laughs> So you think of your own son as a predator? <laughs> How else do you explain? Parents here say the little girl accused of having oral sex is no longer a student here. We contacted the Department of Child Protective Services. They say they legally can't comment on any investigation, including the welfare of that little girl. As for the lawsuit, the attorney says he will file it on Monday morning. Reporting from Carson, Alex Michelson, ABC7 Eyewitness News.